Oh, Mike. What is it? Real breaking news. Uh oh. We're not going to start with the Browns. We're going to start with the Baltimore Ravens. Interesting. Landing Earl Thomas. Thank you, Matt. You can have your Ooh. phone back for more breaking news. Here you go. The Ravens, who yeah. lost a ton of defensive talent in free agency, mm-hmm. including Eric Weddle on the back end, they land Earl Thomas as their new free safety. The new Ed Reed in Baltimore. Four years, $55 million is the report, which that's less than Landon Collins got. That, you know, That's less per year than what Tyree Matthew got in Kansas City. And if you're objectively evaluating the two over the next three years, which is all the contract Tyron Matthew got, you're taking Earl Thomas 10 times out of 10. So from the Ravens' perspective, that's a win. They've bled a ton of talent defensively. They needed a leader there, lost their leader in the secondary, and Eric Weddle lost their leader in the linebacking core, and C.J. Mosley, all of a sudden, Earl Thomas comes in, gives them hope for next season because everyone, everything was trending at this right. offseason. Everything was turning down in the AFC North except for the Browns who were trending, skyrocketing up. They had to keep pace. The champions of that division a year ago, Mar Jackson heading into year two, there's reason to believe Ravens have a chance of repeating. I mean, they lost a lot of talent, but that's still a talented roster, talented defense on the back end. Yeah, we're not completely ready to declare the mm-hmm. Cleveland Browns as, well, we're, we've declared them as the favorite over <laughs> at ProFootballFocus.com, but it's not completely locked in stone. Earl mm-hmm. Thomas, uh, he's going to be 30 years old by the time the season starts. He's battled injuries over the last few years, but we're still talking about a guy who could put up elite grades in coverage. He's a special coverage player. He completely changes what the defense can do due to his range and instincts or mental processing or whatever you want to call it. He just knows where the football is going and he gets there quickly. And he goes to a scheme in Baltimore where they have the strong safety in Tony Jefferson. They have the box guy. He will be the free safety. He will be the role he's always played. Now he can do it all. You can play him in the box if you want, but I think the where he can make his most impact is shutting down the seams down the field as a single high safety. So don't write off the Ravens just yet. Uh, I like the signing. Earl Thomas came in as our top free agent on the board, uh, despite the age. You know, usually with free agency, we do say, look, if you're up in your 30s, you're not necessarily going to be uh, near the top of the draft, bo- uh, the free agent board, just because of the long term implications. Mm-hmm. But even with the injuries and the way he throws his body around, you know, is is this a good enough risk for four years here? I, I still think it is because of of where the uh, potential is with I was what he say, I, I think what makes him so special is not purely his athleticism. It's sort of like Charles Woodson at the end of his career in Oakland still making plays. It's his ability to see the game. The special ones age gracefully. So I think over the course of that contract, there's no reason to think he's not going to be one of the best safeties in the NFL. And this pretty much pencils in now with Baltimore Ravens, lost Terrell Suggs, lost Darius Smith, Lost Derek Weddle, but replaced him with Earl Thomas. Lost C.J. Mosley. I think it's pencils him at 22 to somewhere in that front seven or yep. somewhere along the offensive line. No, they're probably not going to go back end, probably not going to be safety or corner there. That's either probably O-line or front seven now with the way that team is built. Absolutely love the way the, the secondary is built in Baltimore. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they're, it seems like they've lost a lot, but they are still secure in the most important part in the defense, which is the secondary. Dating back to 2013, Earl Thomas coverage grades, including the playoffs, 89.1, 89.1, 90.9, 80.3, and 90.5 before last year, only 237 snaps, 90.6. So we're talking about elite coverage grades. Is that good? That seems good. Pretty much every year. Yeah, there's not another safety in the NFL that has been, actually probably the one who's been as consistent over that span might be Eric Weddle in terms of just consistently good to great grades every single season. That's Earl Thomas. You know what I'd be interested to see, though? Because... Eric Weddle has been put in positions that tap into his versatility, where mm-hmm. Earl Thomas has been in a scheme where he's just the single high free safety, and he does yeah. some other things too. I want to know if they use him like a Weddle, if they play him in this Raven scheme, where they'll have Weddle yeah. you know, in and around the line of scrimmage and then go back and play center field. They'll have him disguise. Mm-hmm. Teams talked about how much they pr- prepared for Eric Weddle because of how much he did. I want to know if they're just like, hey, Earl, go play center field like, like he's used to, or if they do tap into his ability to maybe – you know, start on the other side of the field and then work back to free safety. And, yeah. and and Earl, if when he plays in the box, is also a good player as well. I mean, that's the thing. He can kind of do it all. He just never really has had to. Yeah, the funny thing about the Seattle cover three is that half the NFL is running it now because one team ran it with three future Hall of Famers on their roster. <laughs> right. They could have been running, you know, straight cover two again. They could have brought back the cover two with how talented those players were on the back end. Put Earl Thomas in basically any role he could be excel. So this will definitely be a change from what we've seen from him. They because they don't play purely cover three. They're not a purely single high team. He'll definitely be asked to do a lot more coverage wise than he was asked. Yeah, the Ravens love to disguise Earl Thomas. Obviously has the uh, 
the smarts to uh, to impact that scheme. So Earl Thomas to the Ravens. 